they would keep coming up with stupid excuses that how will you give the indication with your hand? It shows your, uh, you know, discriminatory attitude because right. just based on my physical appearance, you are presuming that I am a bloody risk. And I said, wow. people who are killing blacks every day, that is people with hands. Uh, this accident took place on June 24th, 1977. Okay, long time a, back. It, yes, in a place called Raigarh, which is now uh, part of uh, Chhattisgarh. Well, yes. It was in MP. Okay. Uh, so I was uh, almost seven. I was six and a half because my date of birth is uh, 12th October 1970, 7-0. Okay. So okay. till the age of seven, I had a very, I would say, normal, healthy childhood like any other, you know, uh, child. Uh, but then all of a sudden, like, you know, literally in a flash, my life changed. So basically, I came in contact uh, with 11,000 volts, that is 11 kV, as it's called kilowatt. 11 yes. kb high tension wire and uh, this happened uh, at a friend's place uh, and accidentally i came in contact we were playing and this the high tension wire was going across the roof and uh, while playing i came in i kind of accidentally came in the range uh, field of the current and both my hands were completely charged the morning i get up i Obviously, uh, get up around 6 o'clock, get ready for football. Like, first thing in the morning, I get up, uh, have two glasses of water, and you are on the throne. You have, that's, right. that's what every footballer does. Right, <laughs> sir. You're sitting because you want to be light and, like, you know. I, uh, I've, seen, uh, I've done a lot. Of, I mean, I have a true entrepreneurial spirit in the sense I've done several very diverse businesses. You know, I started my career uh, at the age of 23. In 1993, I was with the gas agency, a HPCL gas agency, HPC, uh, you know, gas agency, HP yeah. Gas. And then, because again, I did not feel challenged in that business because it's a monopoly business. It is, uh, uh, so I was looking for something. So along with my ex-wife, I set up an NBSC, that is a non-banking finance company. That uh, was the trend in 1997, 98. Okay. Then again, because of limited uh, sort of money Res and other resources, basically. Yes, resources. So my wife managed, was, continued to manage that NDSP. I set up a garment unit. I was there, are some export houses uh, in, the, in the north. Okay. So I started, I uh, became their vendor. So I used to manufacture for Hugo Boss and uh, Nikes and for all these export orders. Coming back was always very tiresome and I think I would get very late for my work. Also. Okay. So that, after all, but again, it's not some, see, I've all, I don't give in very easily. So I still gave it a go for almost seven, eight months. Yeah, so then finally, then we all sat down one day and uh, decided that, okay, it's like, High time that I actually put this uh, the thought into motion now, you know, in the sense let's uh, uh, make it a reality. And by then, what had happened was you. I see. I needed an automatic car. I can't drive a manual car even today because if both the feet are going to be managing the accelerator and clutch, I can't drive. Yeah, I mean, I sure. can't steer. Yeah, I sure. need an automatic. And earlier, the automatic question mark on our heads was the driving license. So yes. one was never confident. See, I invest, let's say, 20 lakhs, 25 lakhs in an imported car. And what if I don't get a license? And of course, I've been driving because it was very nice on their part. They would extend my learners. So anyhow, then suddenly I get a call on September, I think, 30th, asking okay. about 2016, asking about my, the status of my learner's license. So I said, sir, it is valid. You have been valid. You have renewed so then the artist says, uh, Aap kal, uh, come to the office, we are giving you your permanent license uh, and uh, I want you to come in so that I have to report this matter in the evening. I was like, obviously very grateful and I thanked him and I asked him, sir, what was the 
uh, you know, uh, change or uh, uh, reason. So he told me that they received some circulars that I have received, some gazette notification, which kind of made it possible for me to get a license. Surprisingly, after I bought my car, within a week, 10 days, I was driving so effortlessly and seamlessly right. and so well that even I was surprised. I said, so when we then, of course, uh, went to the uh, RT or the regional transport office, uh, officer, uh, naturally, you know, I think he never imagined in his wildest of dreams that, you know, a guy without hands would actually demand a license. And right. that took in the traffic conditions the way they are. In India. In India. Right. So it's like, are you mad kind, you know? I mean, yeah. So the, the chief secretary in 2015, he was posted earlier as collector when father was DIG in one district. So he again was a, quite aware of my capability. So he then intervened and he told the RTO, why don't you give him a learner at least? So I went to the uh, Motor Vehicle Act, the Central Motor Vehicle Act, the, the act that is implemented over that... 1988. Law. 1988, exactly, right. exactly. So I went to the act and I found that there is no disqualification for a person driving with a seat or, and nowhere does it say that no, you can only drive with your hand. I mean, actually they have left that to really your, uh, I think the person's discretion or interpretation. I immediately went back for the permit. I said, aap mera test, you know, aap test le lo mera. And, uh, but, you know, and, and that's when I think uh, the shit hit the fan, type, you know, because that's when they started coming up with all kinds of excuses. Because, ab unko laga yaar, ab permanent kaise de? because by then they had found out that nobody in the country has uh, ever been issued a license. Just give me that opportunity, uh, the, you know, to drive. That you know, take the test, and then if I don't qualify, I will gladly accept my fate and I will never come back. They would keep coming up with stupid excuses that how will you give the indication with your hand, uh, or you will be a risk to you know uh, pedestrians and uh, other drivers. So we were like, How is that? Well, how, on what basis are you saying that? In fact, this shows your bias, this shows your. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, discriminatory uh, attitude because right. just based on my physical appearance, you're presuming that I'm a bloody uh, risk. And I said, wow. people who are killing lakhs every day, that is people with hands, you said, uh, you give them license every time. Then had a very fortunate meeting with the Central Transport Minister, that is Mr. Nitin Gatkari. He had come to Indore for an event. So I went to him also with my, you know, application and I told him and he was very, I would say, considerate, and he said, don't worry, I think we are coming up with some changes, and hopefully soon you will have your license. And right. Since I bought the car and applied for learners, 15 months had gone by. So basically there was some amendment uh, or some changes basically made, and of course subsequently there was the amendment bill, 2016, if you remember, right. where they went ahead and then changed the, uh, the nomenclature of uh, uh, the motor vehicle act. Yeah, 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 they made some amendment in that. Penalization, like penalties were all changed. All ch so anyhow, so all, that's how then suddenly out of, like, you know, literally out of the blue, 2016 October, I am told that I'm getting my license. So we went next morning very excited. And obviously my mother was very happy and father was very happy.